Hi, my name is Stacy Jensen and I am from Colorvale. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to create a very dreamy, velvety, sexy feel to a portrait. We have an image by Marie Moss. She created this gorgeous photograph of one of her brides, but we wanted to add a little bit of mystery to it. So we have ran the um, matte finish over it. I'm going to start off with a clean photograph. Let me delete everything here. Okay, we are going to run the action. The action has quite a bit built into it. It allows you to fix some exposure, but really the intention is to get that sexy matte look that uh, so many of us crave it for particular photos or even for all of our photos. So when you first run it, it's just got a gentle mat on it. I can show you the um, before and the after. Kind of creates a low contrast, which starts to develop the story. But for the photo that Marie took, we really wanted to give it this secretive, sexy feel that we weren't really in the room with her. We're, we're just kind of looking into a moment of her time. By doing that, there's a, there's a layer that you can turn on, which is called mystery. Now, of course, it seems excessive when you first turn it on. That is exactly how we want it to look at first. What you want to do with this is just turn down the opacity a little bit. You do not want to turn it very far down because, again, that is the purpose of this layer. Then you want to click the layer mask, and you're going to get a black paintbrush because you want to hide some of this mystery. And the places that you hide it are where natural light would peek through, and that is how you create this image of us seeing a little bit into what she's doing, but not the whole picture. And then you also want to go into your opacity of the black paintbrush, turn it to about 50%. And you're going to take this brush and you're going to wipe it on areas where the light would normally lie. So it's going to be sweeping over her hair slightly. It's also going to be on this area of her face. And then it's going to fall. Now I'm going to turn it down to about 30% my opacity because it lightly falls on her chest. You can also see that the light gently falls over her shoulder and gently over here. So we're just adding a little bit of light back into it. Then what you can do after you've played with it is turn up or turn down that same layer. So we could turn it down. I really don't, I want to kind of lose the detail so that our bride is the only thing that's left in here. You could even take this maybe off of her veil a little bit. To, to show just a gentle amount of light through her veil. But the photo becomes this place where you want to find her. It, it almost highlights who she is in the, her moment. I'm gonna switch back over to white and um, at a low opacity, 30%. I'm just gonna let this fall. I'm brushing the line back over the mid part, part of her face so that it falls back away. Um, in a, a soft manner. So again, I'm going to show you the before. And the before kind of just looks like you're in the room with her. You're in the room and, and she's sitting there and you're looking at her. But when you do this and you add that depth, that mystery to the photograph, it's, it's almost this very beautiful, secretive moment between you, the person looking at the photo, and her. You could take this action one step further and then just turn the black and white layer on. I love this, that you can do it all in one action. So I would actually, on a black and white, probably turn the mystery all the way up, or pretty close to all the way up on the black and white, because it, it's more acceptable. So again, you have the before and the after. And now your bride is the only thing that matters in this photo. It's not the chair that she's sitting on. It's just her and the gorgeous light coming through the window. And if you don't want the black and white, you just turn back off the layer and the photo is still there. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you soon.